Hello everyone and welcome to another high low game of Age of Empires today to civilizations with tanky heavy cavalry food bonuses and powerful infantry lines clash as Sito playing as the Slavs in red gets ready to take on Hera playing as the Franks in blue. Now the players heard their herdables explore their alpaca llama surroundings and try to get their butts up to feudal age ASAP not a bad time for us to take a look at the Civ matchup that we are going to be watching today. The Slavs are a civilization that wastes absolutely no time getting all up in your business. Their infantry, which is already quite strong, can be upgraded to do trample damage, and their unique unit, the Boyar, is a fairly slow but ridiculously tanky powerful cavalry unit with a very good and healthy amount of both melee and pierce armor. Now, to support their melee units on the field of battle, all Slavic Siege Workshop units are 15% cheaper, which is great news for the Slavs because they have access to every single Siege Workshop unit in the game, with the exception of the Bombard Cannon, and those cheaper Siege units can be combined with Slavic Monks, which move 20% faster than normal to generate an adorable and yet powerful Siege Monk Rush called a Smush. Now, Slavic Towers and Castles can also be upgraded so that 40% of their stone cost is replaced with wood, which does save players about 260 stone per castle, Although remember, you still do have to build that first castle at first price. And that helped grow their military production. Both the supplies and gambesons upgrades are free of charge. Their farmers work 15% faster and every single barracks, archery range, stable and siege workshop that you build actually gives you five population space, just like a house, which does free up a little bit more wood in the earlier stages of the game for farms, perhaps later on for more castles or any kind of cheaper siege that you might want to train as Sito pulls another boar, not a bad time for us. I should say pulls a boar, not another boar, a boar. Pushes his deer, not a bad time for us to take a look at his opponent. Hera playing as the Franks, the OG cavalry civilization, hearkening all the way back to the Age of Kings, which by the way, happy anniversary to Age of Empires. I think it was uh, yesterday, based on when the video is about to come out, yesterday or two days ago. Mm, when you have a baby, time absolutely stops. Time means nothing, and uh, nothing is ever important again, unless, of course, it is the Age of Empires anniversary. In any event, enough silliness. We've got the OG Cavalry Civilization. Their knights come with extra line of sight. Their stables can be upgraded to work 40% faster, and all of their mounted units come with 20% more HP. Think Vikings and Infantry, Franks and Cavalry. Now, to support their heavy cavalry on the field of battle against very annoying things like maybe some halberdiers with, oh, I don't know, maybe some trample damage on them. Well, the Franks can turn to their unique unit, the Throwing Axemen. This is a ranged infantry unit similar to the Malian Gebedo, but a little bit slower, and its range can actually be increased. Now, to help a player train as many Throwing Axemen as possible, Frankish castles do cost 15% less stone in Castle Age, 25% less stone in Imperial, and to help them feed their warriors and the horses that they ride all frankish foragers work 15 percent faster than normal and they get mill upgrades free of charge so those are the two civilizations fairly similar on paper we'll see how the play styles all work out and speaking of the civilizations the play styles etc let's take a look at the actual map itself it looks like hera has got a big old clearing to the west of his base sito a bunch of forests all on the attack path and so not exactly a very clear attack path into Sito, whereas it's a much clearer attack path into Hera's base. So let's take a look at those bases as both players sit on 18 villagers of pop. Looks like our Slav will go up to two more, then Loom, then Feudal. Okay, he expects some aggression out of Hera, and so getting Loom, did Hera skip Loom? Yes, he did. Okay, Sito walling off his base, primary gold in the forward-ish position but annoyingly placed on the side of a hill. Primary stone to the back, which is very nice. And the way he's walling this in, uh, he's not gonna have access to any secondary or tertiary resources. Extra stone outside, extra gold outside to the right, as well as the third gold. So if Hera sees the location of this gold, might not be a bad place to push into our slab, as well as just a very flimsy palisade wall at the moment. That's Sito. To be fair, in terms of forests, look at this with not one. Sorry, with only one, two, three relatively short lengths of palisade wall. He has walled himself in and, oh, pardon me, a house as well. Is there something behind this? Or is this house perfectly walled in the front here? I wonder if he dragged the palisade to see and make sure 
in any event our frank is in the feudal age gold in the forward ish position as well secured as well by a little bit of a bottleneck here sito has one house Hera has a house in a palisade so somewhat similar forward ish looking positions whereas your primary stone like sito also nice and secure to the rear extra gold to the top both extra gold so both players have their secondary and tertiary golds kind of clumped in the same general area here discovering his opponent he's not going to discover much more this scout's going to have a very hard time busting into that base extra stone annoyingly placed in the front now as the franks with their castle discounts not exactly you know the most relevant of resource location your secondary stone especially if you can secure your primary stone with 1750 rocks in it forests not in a very helpful position on the north and west but south and east fairly easy to wall off so we'll see which player is more aggressive we'll see which player decides to push into who for now Hera is looking for weak spots along this great palisade gate and Sito carved himself a big old chunk of the map I mean look at the mini map this is a nice this is almost like a tic-tac-toe board he carved himself up the top left corner or the basically the left side left corner of the map and I guess there is no need for a palisade as this house blocks the two tiles leading into the base. And again, not too sure what these two scouts are going to accomplish, except maybe distract a villager or two, maybe pull an archer unit into defensives as opposed to offensive duties. Both players vying for the high ground. It looks like Sito's scout is a lot less healthy, but Hera, ooh, at the last minute notices that Sito is pulling him into a little bit of a trap. But will the trap create a problem here will he see the scout the villager moving forward he does and oh last second hammer fall means that Hera is yet again denied access to the ooey gooey center of the slavic base he moves forward with his three scouts he himself by the way back home carved out a, a bit of a smaller part of the map hasn't really as he explored this part he has so he knows he's gonna have to wall off the further eastern portion but not a terrible little wall off as well. Only his primary resources, the gold and the stone, everything else off campus. Interesting, both players going for such a similar two villagers. Do you really need two villagers or did Sito just want to get the house back up to 100% as quickly as possible? Yeah, I don't think you really need two villagers, right? 730, 740, 750, yeah. And one archer should shoot this entire army away back home. Sito sees some opposing archers as well so we're seeing some feudal age action here as both players sitting at 28 29 villagers a pop both players have similar army sizes relatively similar compositions a couple of scouts some archers sito's got a few spearmen as well thrown in they are in the forward position no real need to send them back home to defense since he's already completely walled off his base i also like how this furthest extent extent of the wall off isn't really too far from villagers so if it comes under attack by melee units, he can pretty much defend that and repair that and build a house behind it, for example, fairly easily. Sito gets the first kill of the game as Hera's Spearman, the only Spearman he's got, lies dead. But will Hera get revenge? No, denied yet again by the presence of the Spearman in this scout with one HP. Oh, you are playing with fire. You are playing with fire, my man. And when you get play with fire, you get burned. And Hera says F.A., fo as both players now rack up one kill each and to be fair with the armies that they have i don't really expect them to do much damage and i'm looking at the resources and Hera's already heading up the castle age sito is just 200 food away himself and with those faster working slavic farmers i don't anticipate it taking much longer before our slab in red can click up to the castle age and then i am very curious as to what we're going to see by the way beautifully located internal military industrial complex here for our slav revealing absolutely nothing to hera of what he's about to build okay house is getting attacked hera does have a few villagers here but there are two archers which means those villagers are gonna have to be a little bit careful no fletching to be fair no upgrades of any kind military for both players oh right as i say that of course hera gets fletching and he's gonna hit castle asia what is that about 40 seconds ahead of his opponent Villager populations, our slab is a little bit ahead to villagers, but also has racked up 14 seconds of TC idle time more than his opponent. 
Yara with eight villagers on gold. Sito with eight or nine villagers as well. Both players very similar here. Ooh, building a stable. Now, this is going to get revealed if the scouts ever come back, but look how far away now they are from the base. So they are no... No position to gather any more information here for our slab. So is he going any kind of archer? I mean, based on three archery ranges? No. Is, is he still going to go cab archers? Is he getting this for like... Um, oh my god, I, I feel like my brain's just leaked out of my head. Is this just for bloodlines and husbandry? This stable? I mean, we first of all, kudos to Sito for knocking down a house's HP to 200 using only four incredibly weak feudal age units. So that is a fantastic thing here. Heron not repairing it, and Heron no longer has berry pickers. They are busy constructing a TC all the way to the right. Both players now in castle. It is Cav Archers. What is going on in Age of Empires when somebody creates a meta and Hera's also going for Cav Archers? When someone creates a meta, come hell or high water, everyone does the same thing. Now, let's think about this for a second. The Slavs, I'm trying to think about their Cav Archers. They don't get Thumb Ring. They don't get Parthian Tactics. And as you can see in the top left of the screen, they definitely don't get Bracer. But you know what? So don't the Franks. And the Franks also don't get the uh, final armor upgrade, the Ring Archer armor. So I, th this is definitely going to be a big old Castle Age battle, right? Now, the cool thing about... Frankish Cav Archers. In one way cool, in one way really not cool. Like the Vietnamese, because they are mounted, they do come with 20% more HP, which means instead of the usual 50, they come with 60. Unfortunately, he's facing off against a civilization that has husband uh, bloodlines that just completed, which means Sito's going to have 70 HP on his Cav Archers. And the Franks do not get bloodlines. I would love to see the Franks get bloodlines. Would that just make them way too OP? Would that just be way too unfair? Sito brings back his expeditionary force from the feudal age. They're blocking the path. They're blocking the path. Absolutely epic here. And Sito going after the high value targets. Forget the scouts. He is going straight for those cav archers. And what a fantastic get there. Now the kill count is the same, but is it really the same at 5-5? Five, five? When you've killed four cav archers of your opponent and he's killed a couple of spearmen and an archer of yours. Beautiful play there at Asito Hera deletes his own forward palisade. He has gone up to two archery ranges. Unlike the slab, those two archery ranges don't give him 10 population space. Monk tries to convert. Monk comes under attack. Monk runs away into the TC. Unfortunately, monks are not trained on Sundays with bows and arrows. I guess they're busy giving sermons and such. And so they do not add any arrow fire. Oh no, oh no, one villager. First vil kill, second vil kill of the game. And Sito just says, screw your high ground archers. I'm just going straight for your economy as he guns down three villagers, a monk carrying a relic. Mobility, mobility, mobility out of our slab. Tell me both players have husbandry 1.54, 1.54, yep. In a blink of an eye, another villager dies. Another villager dies. But this one, clumped, surrounded by cab archers, does survive in, in literally, what was it, 45 seconds? Sito has managed to kill six villagers. Plus two, plus one for both cab archers. High ground here for Sito. HP for Sito. Both civilizations are missing thumb ring. So in terms of upgrades, HP is going to dictate pretty much everything at this point. Otherwise, I think they're pretty much similar in the Castle Age. Six dead villagers, 28 kills, 23 kills to eight. But Town Center does manage, or rather maybe it was the, uh, no, it was the Town Center does manage to get two more villager kills. I was going to say manages to get a Cav Archer, but those Cav Archers dive in, adding four more Vil kills. What is going on? Hera's economy is all of a sudden, I mean, he's only six villagers behind. And it's not like he needs to spend food on his cav archers. But he's starting to add in skirmishers. The upgrades are already gotten, which means the food cost has been spent. So, so far, Hare is in a bad position, but not an absolutely terrible position. He does have three town centers. And again, he is going wood intensive units for the moment. 
which means he can free up his food to train villagers, but he's only training two villagers to the five or six of his opponent. Finally does trap Sito in a bit of a corner. But it looks like yet another army group. We saw this with the Viper the other day and his freaking crossbows. Man, when one army group got, dies, another one comes in and more villager kills 22 dead villagers in literally two or three minutes. Era does have ballistics. Sito does have ballistics. Again, upgrade-wise, we are all the same. For some reason, both players are ignoring the second armor upgrade on their Cav Archers. And Sito just doesn't care. His base is secure. He knows Hera can't really easily pop in. With its last dying breath, the Cav Archer pumps a villager full of arrows. And all of a sudden, 27 dead villagers. Kind of a not really aggressive siege workshop here. Uh, why is it so far away from Hera's settlement? I would have loved to see something on the high ground here, maybe denying the gold. But this is exactly where Sito's pressing in, the two piles of gold. Hera, for his part, with elite skirmishers, just struggling to hold on. Now he's down 32 villagers. When the hell did that happen? He was down seven villagers, five villagers a minute ago. Now he's down 32. Our slab literally has double the economy, but this one cav archer's in the wrong part of town. And again, your farmers do work faster. Although never discount the free farm upgrades, hitting the next age with an immediate boost to the output of your farm. And uh, I guess uh, the... Uh, with what you might call it. You know, that's the level of professionalism you get here. You know, with the, with the what you might call it upgrade. With the heavy plow. If I'm not mistaken, it does add capacity to villagers by one. <gasps> and there's a gap. Meaning, I think, whereas the um, first and third, the horse collar and crop rotation upgrades only add value to the amount of food is in, that's in the farm. I think heavy plow, if I'm not mistaken, does mean your village, does upgrade your villagers to carry one extra chicken nugget. Sito continues to overstay his welcome, but does he actually care? He's killed 30 villagers. His economy is still 34 villagers ahead. A couple of stables being added here, a single knight. Where is this one archer from the long time gone by? He is housed, which is hilarious to see a slab housed when every siege workshop, every archery range, every barracks and stable by the way, take a look at his population once these... Oh, they're, I thought they were a lot closer to completion. 15% discounted mangonels have popped out. And they are going to shoot away Hera's entire flimsy skirmisher force here. The Franks uh, do not get redemption, if I'm not mistaken. I guess I can... I guess I don't even have to know anything about this game. I can just click the uh, user interface. Yeah, the Franks don't get redemption, which means good luck contesting these mangonels without a siege workshop of your own. And our Frank, no siege workshop. You know why? He's barely got any wood. He doesn't even have two sticks to rub together. And now he's using the food that he's got to train knights. But beautiful. I love this out of Cito. This, not so much. But moving the two mangonels. Okay, now here we go. I love that. Moving the mangonels to the high ground. Why the hell not add 25% more attack? But you gotta defend the mangoes. You gotta defend the mangoes. Looks like Cav Archers are picking off reinforcements to the south. The Knights have closed in on the mangonels. Era using his mobility to dodge enemy knights does get all three. That is a very sour loss for Harry, even though he did lose all of his skirmishers, it looks like. What the hell do you need skirmishers at this point if all the mangonels are dead? And your opponent is going knights. Hera's doing an amazing job picking off reinforcements so far. But little by little, his units are losing their HP. And they enter into a TC, but Sito doesn't react exactly in the right second. He delayed by a whole nanosecond, which means Hera got to escape. And yet again, places his army in between Sito's expeditionary force and the reinforcements. Oh, yeah. Where it was first with range, now it's with melee. Two more villager kills get added to Sito's belt. One over here, one over here. I guess it was range, pardon me. But wow, Sito. Literally, in the last, I want to say 10 minutes, just went full on. And another one, and another one, and another one. Endless villager kills. And Hera with 59 villagers 
even though, like I said, he's doing an amazing job picking off reinforcements here, and the reinforcements are being streamed in one at a time uh, for some reason. Not really any archery ranger stable up here, even though he could technically build one. See, those got a lot of wood. Hera just unable to stop the flow of units, and now he's got knights running around inside his base, his town center not fully garrisoned, which is problematic. It just shows you if he wanted to fully garrison, he probably could have, but he probably wants to keep gathering resources while the town center fires arrows. But now you're also dealing with skirmishers. You still, by the way, haven't dealt with the cav archers. There are still cav archers here. There is still a feudal age archer. And there's a monk, which means your knights are now a little bit less, la uh, more lackluster, a little bit less power. And wow, what a short but fun game. Sito just doing... I mean, I'm going to spoiler alert if you don't know the result of the Viper MBL game. Uh, plug up your ears with uh, with cotton balls. Sito doing to Hera what Viper did to MBL, which is, okay, nice town. Oh, I don't really care. I don't think they did even destroy a single building. Is the house no, it's still there? I'm just going to go straight after your villagers. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do. If you want to get up your heavy cavalry, if you want to get up to Imperial... You need the economy to do so. And by the way, my economy is nice and safe. I've carved myself a big old chunk for my farmers who are better than yours to work endlessly, toil round the clock because in Age of Empires, there's no, no such thing as a union and the uh, villagers never get a smoke break and they just work 24 freaking 7, which means that this Slavic economy is just on steroids compared to the half-sized economy that Hera has and he actually starts falling even more villagers behind now it looks like 37 what happened at some point he was down like five villagers and then Sito just with those farmers started pumping out I guess a lot more villagers while using his wooden gold for cab archers what a crazy game out of Sito what an insane level of aggression I'm glad I called it right about the castle age because these are not cab archers that have a lot of staying power in imperial Again, both missing Bracer, no Ring Archer armor, no Parthian. Actually, I don't think Parthian tactics for for either civilization, right? Where are you? The big X over here. Parthian tactics. Parthian tactics, yeah. Hera with his usual EPM towards the middle of the game, right before all his villagers started dying, actually, at the 23-minute mark. Sito, a little bit before that, microing his Feudal Age army. By the way, that maneuver of Sito's here to clog up the works with those two spearmen while he gunned down, I think it was three, if not four, cav archers, was a brilliant maneuver. Forget the scouts, he ignored them completely, those two or three scouts that were here. He went after the juicier target, and it shows at the end of the day. I mean, 36 cav archers to 20, 26 to 8, 9 knights to 5 monks. Ah, to be fair, the monks probably win this. But let's take a look at their economies and see how bad it was for Hera. Yeah, about 6,700 more resources for our slab wow he got stone he got gold he got food and he got wood over his opponent militarily no conversions one okay one raising and it's Hera who got the raise well there you go so like uh, like I said in the uh, a few seconds a few minutes ago pulling a viper and just saying you know what I keep your infrastructure train whatever the hell you want I don't care about your knights and your cav archers I'm just going straight for your villagers and Sito gets 32 of those villagers 65 kills to 45. Hera gets more military kills, including that really cool sweep of the Mangonels. Very cool out of Sito, by the way, to put the Mangonels on the high ground. Uh, a lot of players would have just been like, okay, I have a Mango. I don't have a lot of time. I'm under pressure. I'm playing Hera. Why don't I just right-click the town center? The Mangonel would have gone from here to here. Even though two tiles, one tile away, there's high ground that adds more damage to your unit. Sito clumped all three of his. Unfortunately, uh, when you clump your units, you expose them and his cav archers were nowhere to be found. Hera managing to snipe all three with his knights and then did an amazing job starting to pick off reinforcements. Unfortunately, back home, he is just getting absolutely brutalized by the Slav and has no choice, having lost 32 villagers. Looking at the score, seeing he's a 1,000 points behind, about 25% score behind, he has no choice but to tap out, lives to fight another day, and it is Sito, our Slav, with the 10 minutes of non-stop villager kill aggression who takes the w but gg to both players did you enjoy this video check out these other clips and make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so that you're notified of my latest uploads